Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, a new Mooney airplane takes flight, a tongue-in-cheek report compares turtle strikes and drone strikes. Customers are receiving their Honda Jets. Every cross is December 28, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. It's been a while since Mooney Aircraft has announced the first flight of a completely new design, but that's just what they did last week after a long-awaited first flight of their M10T proof-of-concept aircraft. The flight lasted approximately 15 minutes with their test pilot conducting basic flight maneuvers and verifying design data. The M10T, announced in 2014, is Mooney International Corporation's new design carbon fiber three-seat fixed-gear aircraft. Powered by the Continental Technify CD-135 Jet A engine, the M10 is a new generation aircraft designed by Mooney specifically for flight training operations. The M10T will continue testing as the program works towards certification in the next few years. In a report meant to be funny and yet point out that the federal government may be overreacting to the potential for accidents involving UAVs, a researcher dug into the FAA's wildlife strike database and found that there have been 198 confirmed turtle strikes by airplanes between January 1, 1990 and July 31, 2015. That compares to zero confirmed collisions between airplanes and UAVs, though the reports of near collision and other incidents has been rising sharply. Still, it's obvious that turtles have been around a lot longer than UAVs, and while it is pretty much a given that a turtle would not collide with an airplane while in flight, UAVs sharing airspace with manned aircraft make a collision between those aircraft a much more likely scenario, and the results would be far worse for the airplane, that is. This report also begs the question, who would have thought they kept track of turtle strikes? After the break, Honda Jet is making deliveries. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. Concord's recombinant gas RG Series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. Honda Aircraft Company has begun deliveries of the Honda Jet, handing over the first aircraft last week at its world headquarters in Greensboro, North Carolina. This milestone follows final type certification from the FAA, which Honda Jet received on December 8th. To support Honda Jet customers, Honda Aircraft reports they have established a worldwide dealer network in 11 territories. The 90,000 square foot customer service facility in Greensboro will support the dealer network with heavy maintenance, repair, and overhaul capabilities. Pilot training is already being conducted for Honda Jet customers with a full motion level D flight simulator installed at the Honda Aircraft Training Center in Greensboro. With some 2000 Aero TV programs webcast to cyberspace, sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Aero TV classic episodes. Aviation at its purest form. You pull on the burner and you go up. You pull on the vent line, you come down. And, and that's really the simplicity of it. Now, like everything else, it's easy to become okay at the sport. It takes a lifetime to master. In this uplifting, amazing, and fun classic episode, ANN's Jim Campbell gets a better view of the lighter than air world of aviation. Search uplifting, amazing, fun on Aero TV's news channel. 
After these messages, work starts on the Beluga XL. Now certified, Aspen Avionic Single Band ADS-B, ATX100, and ATX100G transceivers are the next-gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The first cut of the Beluga XL MSN001 rear fuselage has been successfully achieved at the Airbus facility in Spain. Final assembly is expected to begin in early 2017. The Beluga XL entry into service is planned in mid-2019. iFlight Planner has announced that the company will be fully supporting the Bad Elf ADSB receivers at product launch. Bad Elf has introduced their affordable ADSB weather and traffic receivers with support from Kickstarter, and iFlight Planner is on board. Southwest Airlines settled a lawsuit involving allegations that Southwest violated FAA safety regulations in the maintenance of its Boeing 737s, as well as other pending administrative matters. The airline must make operational changes and pay a civil penalty of $2.8 million. Air Canada and the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers have reached a new agreement subject to ratification on collective agreement terms for 10 years. The union represents 7,500 Air Canada employees. Well, that's our trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Another single-engine turboprop airplane takes its first step to the market as the Epic E-1000 prototype FT-1 made its first flight earlier this month. Upon completion of the scheduled 20-minute flight, Epic Chief Pilot David Robinson reported, quote, the aircraft handled extremely well and performed just as expected." End quote. FT-1 testing will continue over the next several months, assessing general handling qualities, operational performance, system operations in normal mode, failure scenarios, extreme conditions, and flight into known icing regulations. The second and final flight test article is scheduled to launch this spring and will reflect as closely as possible the E-1000 production aircraft both in equipment and manufacturing process. The company has announced a planned price of almost $3 million fully equipped and its all-composite airframe is powered by the 1200 horsepower Pratt & Whitney PT-6A 67A turbine engine. The company is predicting cruise speeds of over 325 knots true, with a range of 1,650 nautical miles and an authorized ceiling of 34,000 feet. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.